There are parts of the heavens that we can imagine by how the Bible describes those particular parts of the heavens, but we do not have the complete description of the entire heaven, which is the abode of God, which is the house of God or the paradise. We do not have that wholly in the Bible. There are some parts described by John when he was taken in the spirit, he saw a door open in heaven. And let us read chapter 4, verse 1 of the book of Revelation, brother. After this, I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceed lightnings and thunderings and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf, and the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was, and is, and is to come. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne, and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. That is what John see when he was invited to enter that door in heaven that was opened unto him. He saw a throne, before the throne is a sea of the water of life, like crystal. Then there in the throne, around the throne are four living creatures, and around the throne also are 24 thrones, wherein the 24 elders are sitting. Those are the things that was seen by John, but it doesn't describe the heavens or the abode of God in totality. No, there is no thing like that in the Bible. The altar in heaven was described, and there was the Ark of the Covenant. John saw it also. But aside from those things in the Bible, we cannot see everything that there in heaven. There is a tree of life there along the throne of God where God sits. There is a river of crystal water which is called the river of the water of life. Those are the things revealed in the Bible. But not everything is revealed in the Bible to describe to us the entire heaven or the entire paradise as the abode of God. Moses have seen it in a vision in Mount Sinai, but 
he did not try everything he saw. You see, there must be things that must be kept as a surprise for those who wants to go to heaven. But we know that it is joyous, joyful, it is the best, it is something like we have never seen before. 8.18 of the book of Romans, let us read. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. The glory of heaven shall be revealed, but not now. The Apostle Paul, having an idea of what is in heaven, said, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. So as a child or as a new man, you have to strive hard in obeying God's law, following His will. And I do not have to describe to you the entire heaven in its glory, but certainly there are things there which are incomparable to everything we have seen, heard, or of touch. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. Things that I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that love Him. It's kind of like a surprise to those who will enter heaven. It will be totally a surprise, something very glorious.